Self-defense has moved to the forefront of Americans' minds, and scores have clamored after concealed carry guns like no other time in recent history. This was the first year that almost every major manufacturer had a subcompact pistol of their own on the market. While there were standard compact offerings from companies like Walther, Lone Wolf, and Wilson Combat, it was high-capacity, micro-compact pistols that dominated the landscape. Hi everyone, and welcome back to your favorite firearms channel. For today's video, we've gathered 10 of the best subcompact concealed carry pistols currently on the market. They run a gamut of sizes and calibers, but each comes from notable and trustable companies with solid track records. More than just talking about what is the best gun for concealed carry, we will help you gain the knowledge to pick out the best firearm for you. Zev Z365 Octane Zev Technologies is all about taking a solid product and making it even better. And that's just what they did with the Z365 Octane. Using SIG's P365 platform, the folks at Zev only made a few upgrades. But boy did those upgrades make a difference. The biggest upgrade is the Titanium Gray Custom Slide, manufactured by Zev. In addition to the visually appealing machining, such as the serrations on top and on the sides. There's an optics-ready slide cut for popular red dots, like the Shield RMSC and the Holosun HS407K. Sig Sauer doesn't offer that option currently for the P365. Additionally, Zev threw in a different sight package that features a small fiber optic pipe up front and a blacked out and serrated rear sight that stays in place when an optic is installed. Another perk of the custom slide is its reduced weight, which translates to flatter shooting and less muzzle flip, helping the shooter stay on target for follow-up shots. Zev also replaced the factory barrel with the Z365 Pro barrel that sports a DLC finish. Everything else, including the trigger, remained the same. There is no question that the Z365 Octane is a significant step up from the standard P365, and it's well worth a look if you want something a little different and you want to squeeze every drop of performance you can out of the P365 platform. Eckler & Coke USP Compact 45 Compact 45 ACP pistols aren't the easiest to pull off, but H&K does it eloquently with the USP. The HK USP Compact is a small frame pistol capable of firing the most powerful cartridges in 9mm, 40 SW, and 45 ACP. Based on the full size USP models, these handy pistols combine compact size with optimum effective shooting performance. Despite being a hair taller than some concealed carry guns, the USP still fits this bill. A lightweight polymer frame qualifies it for everyday carry as does its reliability. Capacity is a little underwhelming at 10 plus 1, but that's to be expected with a compact 45. Opt for H&K's LEM, Law Enforcement Modified Trigger, if you go the USP. A modified DASA system, it offers an exceptionally light and clean break after the first shot. EAA Gerson MC1911 SC the MC1911SC is an officer-length 1911 that features a number of custom touches normally found in higher-end custom guns, only without the attendant price tag. It's featuring an extended beaver tail, extended ambidextrous safety, enlarged safety grip, skeletonized trigger and hammer, and textured G10 grips all wetted to a forged aluminum frame. For an MSRP of $723, this is no safe queen relegated to the occasional nostalgia session at the range. It has merit as a serious fighting pistol. One unique feature the pistol boasts is the clear capacity window cut into the textured G10 grips. While I'm a bit dubious as to the utility of such a feature, it did prove useful the first time I shot the gun and experienced a failure to feed on the third round. Overall, I enjoyed putting the MC1911SC Ultimate through its paces, 
It's an easy gun to shoot and boasts a bunch of quality features at an easily affordable price. Kimber Evo SP Staying true to its machining lineage, Kimber America expanded its line with the addition of a new subcompact pistol. Staying true to its machining lineage, Kimber America expanded its line with the addition of a new subcompact pistol, the Evo SP. The company's first crack at a striker fired pistol since the ill fated Solo. It is, basically, a way sexier, all metal Glock 43 rival that comes in a massive range of finishes. At an overall length of just 6.1 inches, the new pistol is small enough for pocket carry, yet, the 21 ounces of all-metal construction help soak up the recoil of its 9mm Luger chambering. The stainless steel slide houses a 3.16-inch barrel and is topped with a set of TrueGlow Tritium Pro sights. Each gun ships with two 7-round detachable box magazines, both of which incorporate extended floor plates that bring the height of the Evo SP to 4 and 5 eighths inches. A recoil-operated, locked breech design the barrel hood of the gun engages its ejection port when in battery. Great effort was put into making the firearm controllable to shoot. This was evidenced by the deep stiplex checkering on the front strap and similarly inspired stippling on both the G10 stocks and the back strap panel. The slide's black ferritic nitrocarburizing finish pairs well with the aluminum frame's charcoal gray Kimpro treatment, combining to create a subtle two-tone appearance. The Evo SP makes a great option for anybody looking to pick up a carry gun that is also a ton of fun to shoot. Sig Sauer P290 RS As Sig continues to pave the way forward in terms of its personal defense lineup, a pocket pistol to accompany some of the company's larger personal defense guns is a welcome sight. Modern ergonomics balance the trade-off between smooth curves and the hard-angled features that aid in the pistol's operation but could potentially hinder smooth draws and reholstering. The 9mm chambering combined with the barrel's distinctive bell-shaped tip makes for a more powerful, more accurate pocket pistol. For those carriers that appreciate some heft in a compact or subcompact pistol, the P290RS offers a solid 1-inch wide slide that gives this pistol a likeness to a full-size companion. A potential drawback resides in its grip, for those with larger hands, alternate grip panels and an extended magazine are recommended. Additionally, there's the small matter of price. SIG prices can often be a deterrent for some prospective buyers, but for what is sacrificed in the wallet, the P290RS certainly makes up for in quality and a feature-rich design. S&W M&P Shield Easy for those looking for a compact, lightweight 9mm pistol that's easy to load, easy to rack and shoot, and loaded with safety features, the M&P 9 Shield Easy is the pistol you've been asking for. A hammer-fired pistol, the Shield Easy requires much lighter springs than the striker-fired options that presently dominate the market. In turn, this means less resistance to work the slide, thus opening up polymer pistols to a much greater swath of the shooting world. Smith & Wesson didn't stop at the springs with the Shield Easy, incorporating several other features to enhance operation of the pistol, such as aggressive cocking serrations fore and aft and a flared section at the rear of the slide for a better grip. It's also right-sized for carry, with a 3.575-inch barrel, and weighs in at a manageable 23 ounces unloaded. The only knock, at least for some, the 9 Shield Easy is a single-stack with 8 plus 1 capacity. Still, it should prove more than enough for most defensive situations. Korth 2.75 inch carry special. Up front, it must be acknowledged that this is a fabulous handgun. It tied for quality of construction with the Wilson Combat SFX9, but because it's a revolver and because it's put together so well, it just seemed sort of special. Aside from having the best double and single action trigger of any revolver anyone in the test group had ever pulled, in a matter of seconds, you can swap the cylinder and convert this gun to fire 9mm Luger. Of course, the downside is the price.
you could purchase eight Taurus GX4s for the same money. On the other hand, a six-shot revolver will handle most defensive handgun situations, and there's some comfort in knowing you're carrying what might be the best revolver ever made. Its ammo interchangeability, combined with the level of precision the Korth delivered, makes this pistol quite versatile.